Ningyu, innate soul power. From now on, I, Ningyu, will be a legend. At the martial soul awakening ceremony, Ningyu held her small head high and said arrogantly. Don't come over here. At the soul master competition, Ningyu looked at the opponents surrounding him with a frightened expression, and then used his trump card to take away all the opponents one by one. Sorry, I just want to kill everyone present, or be killed by everyone. On the battlefield, Ningyu, holding a pair of maces, said calmly to the various title Dolua who surrounded him. This is a legend of a mediocre food-based soul master. Keywords of the novel Doluo This soul master is too ordinary and unremarkable with no pop-ups. Doluo This soul master is too ordinary and unremarkable. Download the full text. Doluo This soul master is too ordinary and unremarkable. Latest chapter reading Chapter 1 Preface Spatio-temporal turbulence you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 1 Preface Spatio-temporal turbulence A universe called Dolo arises and falls in endless chaos. A continent called the Divine Realm floats in the center of the Doloa universe. Below and around the Divine Continent, there are densely packed planets. Among these planets, there are living planets, as well as dead planets with no signs of life. Suddenly, Spatio-temporal fluctuations descended. On a planet called Dolua Star, a space-time channel has appeared. A soul from a different world descended on Dolua Star through the passage of time and space, and in the blink of an eye, it disappeared into the belly of a blue-haired beauty in her sixties who was about to give birth. At the same time, a golden light came from endless chaos, carrying a soul, breaking through endless time and space, and also descended on the planet called Dolua Star. The soul brought by the golden light, after descending on Dolua Star, went straight into the belly of a beautiful woman with a flat belly. Bang! The same planet, at almost the same time, two consecutive spatiotemporal channels descend, instantly forming a strong spatiotemporal resonance. Under the influence of spatiotemporal resonance, a massive spatio-temporal turbulence appeared on the periphery of the entire Dolua star. Soon, the anomaly of Dolua star caught the attention of the gods in the divine realm. Not long after, five figures descended one after another in the starry sky. These five figures are none other than the five divine kings of the divine realm, including the Shura god king, the life god king, the destruction god king, the good god king, and the evil god king. Such a scale of spatio-temporal turbulence, watching the chaotic flow of time and space enveloping the entire Dolua star in front of him, the Shura god king couldn't help but feel a little surprised. Shura, you were the first to arrive. Do you know why Dolua star turned into this? The king of life asked the king of Shura. I don't know either. We can't break through the chaos of time and space, we can only wait until it calms down on its own before exploring it again. The Shura God King shook his head. I hope the creatures on Dolua Star can be safe and sound. Looking at the Dolua Star shrouded in the chaos of time and space in front of him, the evil God King sighed. Well, you heard me right. This was indeed said by the evil God King, not the kind God King. I hope so. After all, Dolua Star is a very important life planet under the Divine Realm. The Shura God King nodded. Fortunately, the spatio-temporal turbulence that enveloped the entire Dolua Star only appeared outside the atmosphere. The creatures on Dolua Star have not been eroded by the turbulence of time and space. Of course, there are still impacts. At the moment when the turbulence of time and space appeared, Scenes resembling apocalyptic disasters appeared everywhere on Dolua Star. Earthquakes, tsunamis, storms, and other natural disasters, big or small, can spread throughout the entire planet. At the same time, all living beings on Dolua, whether or not they have long ears, heard the roar of time and space that echoed through their souls. In an instant, the billions of creatures on Dolua Star, 
whether they were revered by thousands of people and revered as the title Dolua below the crown by the world, or the one hundred thousand year soul beasts and even ferocious beasts deep in the forest and ocean, all froze in place upon hearing the resounding sound of time and space. Dolua Continent, the capital of slaughter. In a bloody hall, sitting on a throne, wearing a blood-red cloak, with a pair of bat wings behind him, a tall figure with a pale face and a bloody evil aura suddenly emitted an unprecedented powerful momentum. Blood-red nine-headed bat king. Accompanied by a roar, the bat wings behind this figure began to shatter inch by inch. The originally pale face also turned towards a healthy and rosy complexion, and the aura changed from bloody and evil to dignified and upright. At this moment, Tang Chen, who had been parasitized by the blood-red nine-headed bat king and lost his mind, regained his sanity in the midst of this soulful roar of time and space. Martial Soul City Why did the angel statue suddenly dim? In the angel temple, the martial soul temple, which had come back to its senses from the roar of time and space, enshrines a thousand streams. Looking at the dimly lit angel deity statue inside the temple, a look of shock appeared on his face. The statue was originally immortal, but due to the countless worshippers of angel gods on the continent, the angel statues in the temple have always emitted a faint golden radiance. Unexpectedly, in the blink of an eye, the brilliance of the past was lost. How could this not shock Qian Dao Lu, who is the guardian of the angel god? The statue is dim, there are only two possibilities. One is that the great angel god has fallen. On the other hand, it is due to unknown events that have blocked all connections between the divine realm and the mainland, leading to the inability of believers to be accepted by the angelic gods in the divine realm, which makes the deity image appear dull and lifeless. Stepping out of the temple of angels, I saw the sky outside shrouded in dark clouds, lightning and thunder, and an unusual apocalyptic scene. Thousands of streams were lost in thought. See God Island. The same scene as the Angel Temple in Marshall Soul City also appeared in the Sea God Temple on Sea God Island. The Sea God statue, which originally bloomed with azure radiance, also became dull and lifeless like an angel statue. Standing on the mountaintop of Sea God Mountain, Poseidon, the high priest of Sea God Island, gazed at the endless waves of the distant sea, unsure of what was on his mind. Although the vast ocean occupies most of the surface area of Dolua planet, the vast land on Dolua planet is not the only one on Dolua continent. In the distant west, separated by endless seas, there is a continent named after the sun and moon. At this time, the continental plates of the sun-moon continent underwent significant changes under the influence of this spatiotemporal resonance. The entire continent began to drift towards the east in an unstoppable manner. End of this chapter Chapter 2 Future is Bright You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Future is Bright Dolua Continent, Jindo Empire, Seven Treasures Glass Sect As the sun rises, in a magnificent courtyard, a boy of about five or six years old is holding a book called Soul Beast Illustrated and lying on a long stone bench in the pavilion, carefully flipping through it. At this moment, a slightly hurried sound of footsteps came from the entrance of the courtyard. Ayu Ayu, have you improved your butt? I saw a little girl wearing a princess dress running over in a hurry, and behind her, there was a man and a woman, two children of similar age. Upon hearing this, Ning Yu, who was lying on a long stone bench reading, couldn't help but twitch his lips. Ning Rong Rong, pay attention to your ladylike image. Ning Yu couldn't help but remind the little girl in the princess dress, as a cute little lady, how can you just open your mouth and keep your butt shut? It affects the image too much, it must be changed. Humph, do you still have the face to talk about me? Yesterday when you were beaten up, you screamed so badly that you almost heard the entire Seven Treasures glass sect. Dad even asked me what happened. As she spoke, Ning Rongrong gestured with her hands, indicating that she was gloating. No problem. If a big man does something or doesn't do something, how can a small setback make me submit? I am determined to be the Seven Treasures cute lord. 
Putting away the books in his hand, Ningyu waved his small hand and said firmly with a small face. Three days ago, after six months of hard work and cultivation, Ningyu finally reached the pinnacle of his seven treasure fist technique. This seven treasures fist technique was created by the ancestors of the seven treasures glass sect, specifically for children who have just awakened their martial souls or are about to awaken their martial souls within the sect, to exercise their bodies and practice power techniques. Learning the correct power technique can help the soul warrior master quickly control their own martial soul, preventing children from using big knives and injuring themselves before hurting others. And the battle soul masters who awaken the beast's martial soul can also let them know how to better wield their claws after the martial soul is possessed. It can be said that as long as they are the war soul masters of the Seven Treasures Glass sect, anyone who grew up in the sect has practiced this boxing technique since childhood. But over the years, there have been very few soul masters who can cultivate to the ultimate level, let alone children like Ningyu who have not yet awakened their martial souls. Of course, this is not to say how difficult it is to practice the Seven Treasures Fist technique, but rather that it can only lay a foundation and its power is far inferior to soul techniques. After learning how to exert power and obtain the first soul ring, most disciples of the Seven Treasures Glass sect will not continue to practice this fist technique. The weak power of the Seven Treasures Fist is only applicable to soul masters who possess soul rings. For soul warriors who have not yet officially become soul masters and have no soul skills in their bodies, the Seven Treasures Fist technique of the Great Perfection Realm is definitely chilling and terrifying. The great achievement of divine skills naturally requires the use of martial arts to make friends. Yesterday afternoon, Ningyu gathered over a hundred children of the same age as the Seven Treasures Glass sect in the back mountain to hold a grand event to compete for the Seven Treasures Cute Master. Under the witness of Miss Ning Rongrong, the distant cousin of the Seven Treasures Glass sect, Ningyu achieved great success in his Seven Treasures Fist technique, wielding immense power and beating many children of the same age to win first place. He became the most beautiful child in the Seven Treasures Glass sect and the children's circle. Unfortunately, Ningyu, the cute leader of the Seven Treasures, had not yet been officially crowned and enthroned when he was forcefully suppressed by his son Ning Fengyuan who came upon hearing the news. In Ning Fengyuan's view, his own doll is bullying other children with force, obviously itching and lacking in discipline. Without saying a word, Ningyu folded a thin bamboo stick on the edge, allowing her to experience what fatherly love is like a mountain. On that day, the Seven Treasures' cute lord, who had not yet been crowned and ascended to the throne, had a solid meal of bamboo fried meat under the witness of his hundreds of younger brothers. Later, according to the memories of the cute lord's younger brothers, the screams of the cute lord were clearly audible within a mile of the scene. Although there is no evidence, Ningyu strongly suspects that there may be more than one traitor among the hundreds of young brothers of this cute leader. Otherwise, his father wouldn't have appeared sooner or later, but he would have appeared just as he was about to be crowned as the cute lord. Is it really not painful anymore? Looking at Ningyu with a full expression of confidence, the little boy following behind Ning Rongrong slapped Ningyu's buttocks. Ah! Kunsi, are you trying to murder? He received a slap on his buttocks, causing Ningyu to almost jump off the long stone bench in pain. Didn't you say it didn't hurt anymore? The little boy Ning Kuan looked at Ningyu with a forced expression on his face. Humph. Ningyu snorted coldly and didn't take over. He now suspects that this clan brother Ning Kuan, who is only a few months older than himself and has been very close since wearing open crotch pants, is the traitor who reports the truth. All right, Ayu, we have brought you some good things. The other little girl covered her mouth, suppressed her smile, and took out a red candy from the storage soul guide at her waist. Hmm. Is this a recovery candy made by Auntie Suyue? At the sight of this red candy, Ningyu couldn't help but brighten her eyes. This is not an ordinary candy, but a soul food created by a food-based soul master with a soul power level of six rings and soul emperor. After consumption, it can heal injuries and also restore a certain amount of physical strength. Although the soul power food produced by a century-old soul skill cannot live or die, 
and has flesh and bones, it is definitely not a problem to cure Ning Yu's skin injuries caused by eating a meal of bamboo fried meat. Actually, Ning Yu's own maternal master is also a food-based soul master, who can also create soul power food for healing injuries, so there is no need to go to others to demand it. Unfortunately, the head of the family, Ning Feng Yuan, spoke up and made him remember more. His mother was helpless, and poor Ning Yu could only silently endure the pain. Isn't that right? This is what Jishan finally begged for from her mother. Before the little girl Yu Jishan could reply, Ning Kuan beside her couldn't help but speak up. Okay, you truly are my good sister Ning Yu. Jishan, when I awaken my martial soul at the beginning of next month, your brother Yu will take you to pretend and force you to fly. Immediately, Ning Yu took the recovery candy from Yu Jishan's hand, patted her shoulder with a contented expression, and then swallowed the recovery candy. Restoring the candy entrance, it melts into a warm stream and rushes towards Ning Yu's buttocks. In an instant, Ning Yu felt his buttocks warm, and all the pain and discomfort were immediately swept away. Ayu, Jishan is two months older than you. Do you also want to be your brother? Ning Kuan curls his mouth and complains to Ning Yu. Hm Kunsi, I've noticed that you've been drifting a lot lately. To be honest, your little spicy chicken without even a soul ring doesn't deserve to provoke your boss. Ning Yu hugged her chest with both hands, held her head high, and said arrogantly, a vivid future villain. Humph ah you, don't be complacent. I am a genius with innate level 7 soul power, and I will soon be able to cultivate into a formal soul master. Don't lose too badly then. Ning Kuan was somewhat dissatisfied and said to Ning Yu with a swollen neck. Cut, a small spicy chicken with innate level 7 soul power. Ning Yu pursed his lips, with an innate level 7 soul power, does it mean to consider himself a genius? At that time, the cute master will let you know that your grandfather will always be your grandfather, and your boss will always be your boss. Pushi. Ah you, you're so full of words now. When you awaken your martial soul at the beginning of next month, if you can't even reach the innate level 7, what will you do then? Listening to the innate level 7 spicy chicken, Ning Rongrong couldn't help but smile and say to Ning Yu. The innate soul power is not something that you can awaken at just a few levels. Moreover, those with innate soul power reaching level 7 are rare geniuses across the entire continent. In the future, if cultivated well, those with the seventh ring soul will have a good chance of breaking through and becoming the eighth ring soul Dolo. Rong Rong, don't worry, brother Yu has the ability to get a title. Kuan Zai, this little spicy chicken, can also compare with me. Ning Yu immediately gave Ning Rong Rong a reassuring look, and also belittled Ning Kuan, who seemed to be a minor traitor. Suddenly, Ning Rong Rong and Yu Zhishan both gave Ning Yu a white eye. The capital of account suspension. Even bragging doesn't bring you like this. Unless you can awaken your innate soul power, no one on the mainland dares to bet that you will definitely become a title dolua in the future. Just don't believe it. Ning Yu reluctantly spread out his hand, and no one has believed the truth these days. As a traveler who is familiar with the dolua continent, Ning Yu has absolute confidence that as long as he does not die, he will definitely become a title dolua. Even if the inherited martial souls are not weak, achieving the position of a deity is not a fantasy. As is well known, there is a special opportunity in Dolua continent. As long as you awaken your martial soul, awaken your innate soul power, and have a deep background, then the cultivation talent will definitely be difficult for the transmigrator. After all, outside Tiendo City, on the edge of the ice and fire spring in the sunset forest, there are many precious immortal herbs growing, waiting for destined people to come and pick them. With precious immortal herbs to improve cultivation talent, the title Dolua is definitely just the beginning. If we put in more effort, it's hard to say that we can still be favored by the sea god or the Shura god. We will replace it with Tang San, the pig's foot, and achieve the position of sea god or the Shura god king. And this is just the development path of ordinary travelers. 
Ning Yu, the Seven Treasures cute lord, has a billion point difference from ordinary travelers. He is born with his own cheats. With a movement of thought, a golden light curtain that others could not see appeared in Ning Yu's sight. Property panel, host. Ning Yu, soul power. Unawakened, martial soul. Unawakened, self created soul skill. Seven treasure fist technique, quality. Huang, plus, proficiency. De Cheng, 1%, looking at her attribute panel, Ning Yu firmly believes that her future is bright. End of this chapter. Chapter 3. Can Jean, add points. You are listening at novelfull.audio. The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 4. Originally is the clown actually me? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 4. Turns out the joker was actually me. My friend Ning Kuen's martial soul is not a real bean sprout, but a top dot level control type martial soul. Tai and Kingting. However, with Ning Kuen's current strength, Tai Kai is not even a formal soul master. His heavenly vine martial soul cannot yet demonstrate the power that top dot level control martial souls should have, and it looks very similar to green bean sprout vegetable. Damn it, you actually said that my Tai and Kingting martial soul is Duya. Ning Kuen looked at Ning Yu with an angry expression on his face. This young man was really annoying. If he hadn't known he was not a match, he would have rushed forward and exploded Ning Yu's dog head long ago. Martial soul is a good martial soul, but it's just amazing TSK Tisk, forget it, I still won't evaluate it. As he spoke, Ning Yu continued to smack his lips and shook his head with a sigh on his face. Speaking of which, my childhood friend Ning Kuen is similar in situation to him, and he is also a soul and generation. Not only is his father a high dot level member of the sect, but his mother is also not insignificant. Ning Kuen's maternal grandfather is the Jilin Education Committee, one of the three major education committees of the Tiendo Royal Academy, and a master at the level of the Eight Ring Soul Dolo. It is precisely because of this that Ning Kuen was able to awaken the Tian Kingting martial soul. And as a result, the Seven Treasures Glass sect has added a top dot notch inheritance of martial souls. In terms of the power with the highest number of top dot level martial soul inheritances, perhaps only the martial soul hall can surpass the Seven Treasures Glass sect. There are many masters in the martial soul hall, so there are naturally many top dot notch martial souls passed down such as Hulaina's Demon Fox, Evil Moon's Moon Blade, and Yan's Flame Lord. However, the Seven Treasures Glass sect is different. Except for a few variants, most of them were obtained through intermarriage or intermarriage. The Soul Master family in Doloa Continent, like the family of Ning Yu in his past life, naturally declined as they rose. For the declining Soul Master family and those with weak martial soul qualities, the Seven Treasures Glass sect naturally will not pay attention. If the family itself has a top dot notch martial soul inheritance, as long as the entire family is packaged and included in the Seven Treasures Glass sect, after several generations of intermarriage, the Ning family will have an additional top dot notch martial soul inheritance. It can be said that among the top martial souls in the mainland, there are tens of millions, and the Ning family accounts for at least half. Ayu, I'm fighting with you. Now, Ning Kuen couldn't help but pounce and grabbed Ning Yu's neck with both hands. Just as the two were fighting, a slightly joyful sound rang out. Hey, Rongrong and Shan Shan, are you looking for Xiaoyu to play with? Come and have your sister hug you. At some point, Yang Xian, the mother of Ning Yu, appeared in the courtyard. Mom, it's out of place. As soon as Ning Yu heard that his mother was claiming to be his sister, a black line appeared on his forehead. Don't be fooled by the fact that my mother looks only in her twenties, but her true age is over thirty. Are they all anti-level people, so it's okay to call yourself sister in front of a six-year-old child? Moreover, Ning Rongrong is still her niece-in-law. Shouldn't calling her elder sister be a disorder of seniority? Hm Xiaoyu, what are you saying? Mom. 
Am I very old? Yang Xian looked at Ningyu with a disdainful expression, somewhat suspecting whether the doll was her own. Why is she so speechless? No, 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 my mother is the youngest and most beautiful woman in the world. Ningyu quickly waved his hand and immediately denied it. Right, right, Auntie Air is not old. She can be Rongrong's sister. Ning Rongrong smiled and flattered. Not bad, not bad, Rongrong's words are pleasing. Do you two little girls want to eat the big peach made by your sister? Yang Xian looked at the two little girls with a smile on her face. Mmm hmm. Ning Rongrong and the others immediately nodded. The soul power food produced by food based soul masters not only has special effects, but also has an excellent taste. Just like the soul power peaches made by Yang Xian, even without considering the special effects attached, the taste is far beyond that of ordinary peaches. Sister, I'll do it for you now. Smiling and touching their small heads, Yang Xian immediately released her peach martial soul, with six soul rings blooming yellow, yellow, purple, purple, black, and black on her body. With a slight movement of her lips, she softly recited a spell, and the first soul ring lit up. Three large red peaches were created by Yang Xian. Peaches are not small in size, even larger than an adult's fist. When reciting the spell, Yang Xian's voice was very light and she spoke very fast, but she was still heard by Ningyu, who had sensitive ears. I have a big heart. That's right, Yang Xian's soul skill spell when creating soul power peaches is very similar to Oscar's. It's just that my mother's adult has decent skills in using soul power, and you don't need to recite it out loud. You can also use soul skills to create peaches. Uh, wait a moment, three peaches. Besides my own mother and adult, there are also four people present. Has Kunsi been ignored by his mother? Immediately, Ningyu gave Ning Kun a pitiful look and was ignored. It's probably not a good feeling, right? Just as Ningyu was thinking about dividing Kuan Zai's half of the peaches after receiving them, and only giving him a bite to show the loyalty of the cute master, she saw Yang Xian stuffing the three red peaches she had created into the hands of her three friends. So the clown is actually me. In this moment, Ningyu felt that his life was filled with gray and white everywhere, without any color. Hm Xiaoyu, what are you watching mom do? Watching Ningyu look at her, Yang Xian pretended to be puzzled and asked. Dot. Taking a deep glance at his mother, Ningyu took a deep breath and turned his head without speaking. If it weren't for having memories from a young age, Ningyu would have doubted whether she had been picked up by the mother lord outside. Ah you, why don't I split my peach with you in half? At this moment, Ning Rongrong beside him said to Ningyu. Okay, it's truly my great honor. In this moment, Ningyu felt that her originally gloomy life had been infused with new colors. Where can a niece have a daughter? In law. Looking at the scene before her, Yang Xian thought to herself. Anyway, the two are just distant cousins, having been together for three generations, and their blood relationship can be said to be limited. According to the customs on the mainland, it is ethical. At this moment, Ningyu had no idea that her mother had started looking for a daughter. In law so early, and she was also her distant cousin who had grown up from a young age. Actually, this is also normal. You should know that the social background of Dolua continent is similar to the ancient times of Ningyu's past life. But on the Dolua continent, there are often dull relatives, but there are not many marriages, especially for big powers. Because Dolua Continent is a world of soul masters, and the profession of soul masters places great emphasis on inheritance. If my daughter marries out, then the martial soul passed down from family may not necessarily be unique to my own family in the future. It is precisely because of this that intermarriage among the same ethnic group after three generations of blood ties is perfectly normal. In Yang Xian's view, as long as her son Ning Yu's innate soul power is not too poor, it is not difficult to turn Ning Rongrong, his niece, into a daughter. In law. Anyway, 
In order to prevent the leakage of the martial soul of the Seven Treasures Glass Pagoda inherited by the family, it is impossible for Ning Rongrong to marry out when he grows up. Her future partner will either recruit a son. In. Law from outside or choose a talented disciple of the same generation within the sect. Since that's the case, why not give our own people a discount? Yang Xian was not worried about Ning Yu's talent. My precious son's great grandfather has innate level 7 soul power, grandfather Ning Fulong has innate level 8 soul power, father Ning Fengyuan has innate level 8 soul power, and she herself is also innate level 8 soul power. The three generations of elders in the family can all be considered geniuses. It's unreasonable that when it comes to Ning Yu's generation, their talents will deteriorate. With a top dot notch attack style martial soul blood dragon mace, as long as her innate soul power is not too overwhelming, Ong Xian is not worried that her precious son will not be worthy of the precious daughter of the sect leader's cousin. As for Ning Yu, he did not awaken the blood dragon mace soul at that time, but awakened the peach blossom soul. Yang Xian never thought about this. The number of food-based soul masters on the mainland is far less than that of other factions, but it is not without reason. If one parent has a food-based martial soul, even if both have the same quality of martial souls, the probability of the child awakening a food-based martial soul is lower than that of other families. Just like Ningyu, the probability of awakening the blood dragon mace martial soul in the future is actually much higher than the probability of awakening the peach blossom martial soul. Time flies, it's October 1st in the blink of an eye. In the morning, inside the restaurant. I'm full. Putting down the bowls and chopsticks in his hand, Ning Yu said to Ning Feng Yuan and Yang Xian who were eating together. Xiao Yu, today is the day when you awaken your martial soul. Are you feeling nervous? Ning Feng Yuan put down his chopsticks and asked Ning Yu with concern. As his precious son is about to awaken his martial soul, as a father, Ning Feng Yuan naturally attaches great importance to it. Nervous. Just a little bit. The little bit in Ning Yu's mouth, this time it's really just a little bit, not a billion bit. Children who may have come from ordinary families are not very clear about the importance of the martial soul awakening ceremony. But children born in the Seven Treasures Glass sect naturally understand that the awakening ceremony of martial souls is the most important turning point in their lives. It can be said that whether this will soar to the sky or become ordinary in the future basically depends on this day. Such an important martial soul awakening ceremony, not to mention a six-year-old child who is not yet mentally mature, even a mentally mature adult would be extremely nervous. But Ning Yu is different. As a transmigrator, he also has cheats around him. It can be said that as long as he can awaken his innate soul power, even if it is only at level one or even half, there is a possibility of changing his destiny against heaven. In this way, Ning Yu naturally won't be too nervous. As for whether he will become a super thug of the Seven Treasures Glass sect or a junior ancestor of thousands of disciples in the entire sect in the future, it depends on what kind of martial soul he can awaken today. Xiaoyu, come on. Yang Xian cheered Ning Yu on, but she didn't say much about anything else. After all, the awakening of martial souls is different from other things. What kind of martial soul can be awakened, and how many levels of innate soul power can be reached, are all innate and have nothing to do with postnatal efforts. Parents can criticize their children for not working hard in their studies if they do not perform well in exams. But the awakened innate soul power is low, which cannot be blamed on the child. It can only be said that fate is like this. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 The Awakening Martial Soul You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 5 The Awakening Martial Soul Ning Yu nodded and secretly prayed that she could make a stunning impact at the Martial Soul Awakening Ceremony. Although the innate soul power is low and can be compensated by taking immortal herbs in the future, if Ning Yu is already innate full of soul power, she is more confident in obtaining the full support of the Seven Treasures Glass sect. Besides, having a good foundation does not affect taking immortal herbs to further enhance one's cultivation talent. 
perhaps a peerless genius like Qian Renxue, who has an innate level of twenty soul power, is not greatly affected by immortal herbs in terms of talent. It is estimated that they will only increase their soul power level. After all, there is a certain upper limit to any natural talent and treasure, and cultivating talents cannot be endlessly improved. But for the idle innate soul power, immortal herbs should not be discounted for the bonus of cultivation talents. Having innate level 1 soul power and innate full soul power, taking the same immortal herb, there will definitely be a huge gap in cultivating talents in the future. After breakfast, Ning Feng Yuan and Yang Xian took Ning Yu to the main hall of the Seven Treasures Glass Sect. A few dozen meters away from the main hall of the sect, Ning Yu could see from a distance the entrance of the hall, where a tall and grayish haired old man was waving at the three of them. This old man is none other than Ning Yu's grandfather Ning Fulong, the elder of the Seven Treasures Glass Sect, and an expert with a soul power level of 89 Sol Dolo. Grandpa. Ning Yu immediately stepped forward and called out sweetly. Ha, huh, it's been a long time since I saw my good grandson. Ning Fulong touched Ning Yu's head and said with a hearty smile. Father, have you gained anything from your recent seclusion? Ning Feng Yuan asked his old father. Hey don't mention it, I guess that's how I'll end up in this lifetime. Ning Fulong shook his head regretfully, but after practicing in seclusion for a month, there was no gain. That's right, it's normal to not have any gains, after all, the title Dolua is not easy to break through. On the Dolua continent, soul masters below level 90 do not have any bottlenecks except for the bottleneck of level 9. For example, any 8 ring soul Dolua can reach the peak of level 89 as long as they have enough cultivation time. But in the end, only a few can break through the bottleneck and advance to the 9 rings title Dolua. Looking at the entire continent, including the older generation of strong individuals over the age of a hundred, the number of Dolua titles is only 20.30 at best. If he were ten years younger, Ning Fulong might feel like he still has a chance to advance. But he is almost eighty years old now, and if he were an ordinary person, even if he hadn't been buried, he would have been fast. Even though the body is relatively strong due to the cultivation of soul power, the body's functions have inevitably begun to decline. It can be said that as we move forward, the hope of advancing to the title Dolua becomes increasingly slim. And if he can't break through, it won't be many years before he can prepare for the aftermath. After all, the lifespan of the eight ring soul Dolua is not much longer than that of ordinary people. Dad, it's too early to give up at this moment. Maybe one day, luck will come. Yang Xian said to her father. In. Law. Ha, huh, I'm already someone who's about to go to the grave, so I don't need your comfort. Ning Fulong waved his hand indifferently. He knew that he might not be able to become a Tidal Dolua, but the next generation, the next generation, was not necessarily the same. With such thoughts in mind, Ning Fulong lowered his head and said to Ning Yu, Xiao Yu, today is the day when you awaken your martial soul. Come on. Hmm. Ning Yu looked at his grandfather and nodded seriously. In the original work, besides Sword Bone Dolua, Ning Yu had never heard of any other Tidal Dolua in the Seven Treasures Glass Sect. It seems that the old man probably has little hope based solely on his own efforts. But with such a great grandson like him, the situation would be very different. Tidal Dolua. There shouldn't be a big problem. Subsequently, the four of them entered the hall together. As soon as he entered the main hall, Ning Yu saw a middle-aged man sitting at the top of the hall, who was about thirty or forty years old last year and had a handsome appearance and an elegant and easy-going temperament. The middle-aged man is none other than Ning Fengji, the leader of the Seven Treasures Glass Sect. Meanwhile, Ning Rongrong was sitting beside Ning Fengji, quietly becoming a little lady. Of course, despite Ning Fengji's youthful appearance, he is actually over fifty years old, just well maintained and looking young. At this moment, Ning Fengji's face is in a dilemma. Beside him, a man in white clothes and silver hair, with an ancient appearance that looked both old and young, 
was engaged in a heated argument with a slightly emaciated middle-aged man with an exceptionally tall skeleton. However, upon seeing Ning Yu and his companions enter the hall, Ning Fengji's eyes immediately lit up with a smile on his face. Uncle Sword and Uncle Bone, don't argue anymore. Just let your younger siblings come for this martial soul awakening ceremony. Ning Fengji said to the nearby Qinxin and Gurong. Qinxin and Gurong are both old singles, childless and childless, always treating Ning Rongrong as their own granddaughter. The awakening ceremony of the martial soul is also very important, and the two naturally compete to personally awaken the martial soul for Ning Rongrong. This is a bit awkward and elegant. After all, if Qinxin were to preside over this martial soul awakening ceremony, then Gu Rong would definitely not be happy, and the same goes for the opposite. As for letting other disciples preside over this awakening ceremony. Needless to say, the two of them would definitely think so. Are you looking down on me Qinxin, Gu Rong? Fortunately, Yang Xian appeared at this moment. As an elder of Ning Rongrong in a woman, Yang Xian and Chen Xian are not in a difficult situation and are undoubtedly the most suitable candidates to host this martial soul awakening ceremony. Okay, that's it. Looking at each other, Chen Xian and Gu Rong nodded helplessly and agreed to Ning Fengji's proposal. I have seen Sor Dolua and Bon Dolua. Ning Feng Yuan and Yang Xian greeted Chen Xian and Gu Rong. As for Ning Yu, it is naturally the name of Sword Grandpa and Bone Grandpa. Sword Bone Dolua is the only two titled Dolua experts in the Seven Treasures Glass sect. Ning Yu, who has small arms and legs, naturally wants to hug her thighs. After all, in the future, if he wants to obtain a 100,000 year soul ring, he still needs the help of Sword Bone Dolua. His mouth is like wiping honey, as sweet as it is. With the passage of time, including Ning Yu and Ning Rongrong, besides the six little radish heads that had already arrived, seven more little radish heads gradually entered the hall. Master, everyone is here and we can proceed with the martial soul awakening ceremony. A disciple looked at the records in the sect and immediately reported to Ning Fengji that all thirteen eligible children who had celebrated their sixth birthday last month had arrived. The number of disciples of the Seven Treasures Glass sect is not comparable to that of the Martial Soul Hall. Excluding those maids, there are only six or seven thousand formal soul masters. Moreover, due to the twelve opportunities for awakening martial souls each year, basically only a dozen or so children need to awaken their martial souls each time. Oh! Have everyone arrived yet? Sister! This time it's up to you to awaken the little one's martial souls. Ning Fengji turned his head and said to Yang Xian. Can I host the martial soul awakening? Listening to Ning Fengji's words, Yang Xian looked suspiciously at Chen Xian and Gu Rong beside her. These two beloved granddaughters are crazy and not ready to personally awaken their martial souls for Rong Rong. Humph dot. Chen Xian and Gu Rong looked at each other and snorted coldly before turning their heads. Seeing this, Ning Fengji twitched his lips and didn't say anything, just nodded lightly. Okay, kids, quickly line up. Yang Xian waved her hand and said to the little radish heads who were looking forward to awakening their martial souls. Ning Yu pulled Ning Rong Rong to the end of the team, after all, heavyweight figures are the last to appear. The props used in the martial soul awakening ceremony are very simple. Yang Xian took six black circular awakening stones and a blue crystal ball for testing soul power, and then set up a hexagonal martial soul awakening array on the ground. Children, stand in the awakening formation. Yang Xian gestured to the little boy at the forefront. Speaking, Yang Xian pointed her finger and injected her soul power into the six awakening stones on the ground. Suddenly, a layer of golden radiance was released from the six black awakening stones, forming a light golden mask that enveloped the little boy. At the same time, golden dots diffused out of the light mask and disappeared into the little boy's body. Watching the little boy's body remain unchanged and there is no animal-shaped phantom behind him, Yang Xian immediately knew that it had not awakened its beast martial soul. She said immediately, 
stretch out your palm and see what martial soul you awakened. The little boy instinctively followed suit, and dots of light rushed out. In an instant, a blue mini-axe appeared in his right hand. Well, weapon soul, green steel axe, come on, children, take back the soul and place your hand on this soul power test crystal ball. Speaking, Yang Xian placed the soul power test crystal ball in her hand in front of the little boy. The tender little hand was placed on the soul power test crystal ball, and a blue halo immediately bloomed on the crystal ball. Not bad, not bad. Innate level 6 soul power, children should work hard to cultivate in the future. Watching herself make a good start, Yang Xian immediately smiled at the corner of her mouth. Although the innate level 6 soul power cannot match that of a true genius, it is still considered to have excellent talent. With the cultivation of the sect, it will not be difficult to become a seven ring soul saint in the future. And the sole master of the seven ring soul saint level, looking at the entire continent, can also be considered a master. Many deans of advanced soul master colleges have only the level of the seven ring soul saint in terms of strength. Thank you, Auntie. The child sweetly thanked Yang Xian. It's not cute at all, remember to call it sister. Next. Yang Xian reached out and nodded on the child's forehead, correcting his speech error. Beast Martial Soul, Wind Thunder Leopard, Innate Level 5 Soul Power. Beast Martial Soul, Silver Moon Wolf, Innate Level 3 Soul Power. Martial Soul, Seven Treasures Glass Pagoda, Innate Level 4 Soul Power. Beast Martial Soul, Xianming Turtle, Innate Level 3 Soul Power. Martial Soul, Sanglong Staff, Innate Level 4 Soul Power. Beast Martial Soul, Diamond Tiger, Innate Level 3 Soul Power. Quickly, the eleven little radish heads in front of Ning Yu and Ning Rongrong had already completed their Martial Soul Awakening. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Innate Soul Power You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Innate soul power The talent of the internal disciples of the Seven Treasures Glass sect is naturally not comparable to that of ordinary ordinary civilians outside. Most children from ordinary families are unable to awaken their innate soul power. But when it comes to the Seven Treasures Glass sect, the average level of innate soul power is at levels 3 or 4. It can be said that among the six or seven thousand disciples of the Seven Treasures and Glass sect, Except for the young generation who have not yet grown up, the soul power level of the four ring soul sect and the five ring soul king accounts for the vast majority. Rong Rong, quickly stand in the awakening formation. Yang Xian beckoned Ning Rong Rong forward. Mmm, Auntie, you need to work hard. Ning Rong Rong raised his small fist to cheer Yang Xian on. Ah, Rong Rong, it's you who awakens your martial soul. Why is it me who is fueling you? Yang Xian is a bit forced. It's not me who wants to awaken her martial soul. Do I have an egg to cheer on? Auntie, come on and help me awaken higher innate soul power. Ning Rongrong said naturally. Yang Xian. Dot. If your innate soul power is low, is it still your aunt's? Rongrong, don't worry. According to the calculation of the cute master, your innate soul power is at least level 8 or above. Ning Yu said to Ning Rongrong in front of him. Is it really fake? Ning Rongrong looked back at Ning Yu with suspicion. Of course it's true, I promise. Ning Yu cannot determine the level of his innate soul power, but Ning Rongrong's innate soul power, as long as there are no accidents, is at level 9. However, for Ning Rongrong, if the martial soul of the Seven Treasures Glass Pagoda fails to transform, there is not much difference between the innate soul power of level 9 and levels 6 and 7. Without breaking the limitations of the Seven Treasures Glass Pagoda's martial soul, one can cultivate to level 79, Soul Saint in the Heavenly Sky. When cultivating to the Seven Ring Soul Saint, as long as the innate soul power reaches level 6 and is well cultivated, it can basically be achieved. At most, the cultivation speed is much slower than the innate level 9. Okay, trust you once. 
Watching Ning Yu speak so confidently, Ning Rongrong believed 70%. But it was Yang Xian who gave Ning Yu a fierce glare. No one can say for sure about innate soul power. If Ning Rongrong's innate soul power awakens later and does not reach level 8, wouldn't it be very disappointing? Looking at the fierce gaze of the mother, Ning Yu ignored it and turned his head. Quickly, a familiar scene appeared, enveloped in golden light, and countless golden dots disappeared into Ning Rongrong's body. Rongrong, come and see what martial soul you have awakened. Yang Xian asked Ning Rongrong urgently. Ning Rongrong's mother also has a top dot level martial soul, so before the awakening of the martial soul, no one except Ning Yu could say for sure. Opening his palm, he saw a seven-story colorful glass pagoda in Ning Rongrong's hand. Indeed, it is the martial soul of the Seven Treasures Glass Pagoda. Looking at the martial soul of the Seven Treasures Glass Pagoda in Ning Rongrong's hand, Yang Xian nodded with satisfaction. Isn't it a perfect match to assist with strong attacks? This good daughter dot in dot law is about to be confirmed. It's not easy to use anyone. Huh, okay. 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 Truly worthy of being my husband's precious granddaughter. Suddenly, laughter and admiration echoed from within the hall. Everyone turned their heads and saw Chen Xian and Gu Rong, who were originally tall and cold, with an uncontrollable smile on their faces. For a moment, everyone in the hall quickly understood and immediately turned to Ning Rongrong, who was still standing in the martial soul awakening formation. Congratulations to the sect leader. Congratulations, Patriarch. In an instant, everyone in the hall congratulated Ning Fengji. There is no other reason, it is because after Ning Rongrong awakened his martial soul, his innate soul power did not need to be tested with a soul power crystal ball and was already perceived by everyone. Before the awakening of the martial soul, the innate soul power is silent and no one can explore it. But after the awakening of the martial soul, the soul power is active, and high dot level soul masters can easily see through the soul power levels of low dot level soul masters. At this moment, Ning Rongrong's soul power level was naturally recognized by the people in the hall. With a soul power of up to level 9 and 8, only Sword Dolua and Bone Dolua with innate full soul power can win the entire sect. It can be said that in terms of talent alone, Ning Rongrong, who has just awakened his martial soul, ranks third in the Seven Treasures Glass Sect. My precious daughter Ning Rongrong has awakened her innate level 9 soul power, so theoretically, Ning Fengji should be very happy. But at this moment, Ning Fengji seemed to be congratulating everyone on the surface, but inside, she was sighing. Why is it that my precious daughter's innate level 9 soul power awakened by her own Seven Treasures Glass Pagoda Martial Soul, rather than her deceased wife's frost moon bao martial soul. If Ning Rongrong only had innate soul power of six or seven levels, Ning Fengji wouldn't think so, after all, his own seven treasures glass pagoda martial soul is not bad. The title of the strongest auxiliary martial soul in the seven treasures glass pagoda continent is not just a boast, but a truly powerful effect. The key is that the Seven Treasures Glass Pagoda is not a perfect martial soul and has significant flaws. If we cannot break the limitations of martial souls, we can only cultivate to level 79, Soul Saint in our lifetime. For ordinary soul masters, becoming a level 79, Soul Saint is already a dream. How sad would it be for a genius with innate level 9 soul power, despite having the gift of a title, to only become a level 79, soul saint due to limitations in their own martial soul. Watching her proud daughter awaken her innate level 9 soul power, Ning Fengji shook her head and threw these thoughts out of her mind. Perhaps, perhaps our precious daughter can break the limitations of the Seven Treasures Glass Pagoda's martial soul in the future. Ayu Ayu, did you see that? My innate soul power is at level 9. Ning Rongrong excitedly tugged at Ning Yu's arm and shook it vigorously. I saw it, I saw it. My family Rongrong has the privilege of being granted a title, and your brother Yu is proud of you. Ning Yu is a bit speechless. Isn't it just innate level 9 soul power, 
why are you so happy? His arm is almost broken by shaking. Humph, Ayu, then from now on, you should call me Rongrong Doluo. Hummed his nose, Ning Rongrong held his head high and proudly said to Ning Yu. Ning Yu. Dot. After Ning Rongrong awakened his martial soul, only Ning Yu remained in the main hall. Taking a deep breath, Ning Yu stepped forward and stood in the center of the martial soul awakening formation. As her mother Yang Xian infused soul power, a pale golden light once again shone from the awakening formation. So comfortable. Dot. Ning Yu, who was in the martial soul awakening formation, immediately felt a warm current pouring into her body and comfortably closed her eyes. Quickly, Ning Yu felt something coming out of her right hand. Sure enough, twin martial souls are not so easy to awaken. Only the right hand showed movement, while the left hand did not. It is obvious that there is no need to think about twin martial souls. Peaches, peaches, give me peaches, don't use the blood dragon mace. Ning Yu, who closed her eyes and clenched her right fist, silently prayed to herself. Uh, Xiao Yu, what's wrong with you? Looking at Ning Yu who hadn't opened her eyes for a while, Yang Xian was a bit confused, so could it be that something went wrong? However, this martial soul awakening formation is universal across the entire continent and has been passed down for countless years. I haven't heard of any side effects. No, it's okay. Upon hearing the doubts of her mother, Ning Yu opened her eyes and shook her head. That's good, show mom what martial soul you awakened. Yang Xian pointed to Ning Yu's tightly clenched fist. Ha, huh, taking a deep breath, Ning Yu slowly opened his right hand. I saw a peach that was white and red, much larger than Ning Yu's fist, appearing in his hand. Looking at the peach martial soul in his hand, Ning Yu secretly felt happy. With a movement of thought, the invisible attribute panel appeared in Ning Yu's sight. Property panel, host. Ning Yu, Soul Power. Level 10 Soul Warrior, Martial Soul. Peach, plus, Self Created Soul Skill. 7 Treasure Fist Technique, Quality. Huang, plus, Proficiency. De Cheng, 2%, pretty looking at the level 10 Soul Warrior displayed in the Soul Power Bar, Ning Yu couldn't help but smile. Congenital Full Soul Power, Achieved. And more importantly, Behind the peach soul, Ning Yu saw a plus sign. It is obvious that his own cheat did not disappoint his expectations. Not only can his self created soul skills earn gold, but even martial souls can earn gold. Ah, it's the peach martial soul. On the other hand, when Yang Xian saw the peach martial soul appearing in her own son's hand, she felt a bit depressed. In her plan, she wanted her precious son to awaken the spirit of the blood dragon mace and become a powerful soul warrior, titled Dolua, married by Fumei, niece Ning Rongrong, and thus reach the pinnacle of her life. But this plan was declared bankrupt as his own son awakened his peach martial soul. After all, the Seven Treasures Glass sect has one of the most important rules, which is that all soul masters who awaken the martial soul of the Seven Treasures Glass Tower must be war soul masters. It can be a strong attack type, a sensitive attack type, a control type, or a defense type, but definitely not an auxiliary type, food type, or healing type. Otherwise, both husband and wife are soul masters with little combat power. Who will protect Xiaoming? Ha ha ha. Just as Yang Xian was feeling a bit gloomy, another hearty laughter rang out in the hall. I saw Ning Yu's grandfather, Ning Fulong, laughing up in the sky. Innate full of soul power. Alright, my seven treasures glass sect has welcomed another unparalleled genius. The next second, Ning Fengji, as the sect leader, stood up with an excited expression on his face. As a soul master at the level of seven ring soul saint, Ning Fengji could see through Ning Yu's current soul power level at a glance, and he was already a level 10 soul warrior. Just as you awaken your martial soul, you have reached level 10 soul warrior. Isn't this innate full soul power? You should know that any soul master who awakens innate full soul power, 
as long as their martial soul is flawless and does not fall midway, will definitely become a respected title Dolua in the future. Although Ning Yu is a food-based soul master, even after becoming a title, his combat power is not much stronger. But for a large soul master like the Seven Treasures Glass Sect, the importance of food-based Dolua is definitely higher than that of leisurely Dolua. Thank you for casting your recommended votes. We welcome you to use your votes to kill the author. Thank you to the Northern Netizens for their tips and coins. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Strong Father's Love You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Strong Father's Love There are many experts in the Seven Treasures Glass Sect, with two Dolua wielding sword bones and an additional Dolua with a title below level 95. It can only be considered as icing on the cake, not much. But the food-based title Dolua is different. The higher the level, the stronger the soul power food effect created by the food-based soul master. More importantly, the soul power food produced by food-type soul masters does not conflict with the attribute increase of auxiliary-type soul masters. That is to say, when Ningyu grows up in the future, the strongest combat power displayed by many powerful members in the sect can once again elevate to a higher level with the increase of the Seven Treasures Glass Pagoda. Moreover, food-type soul masters belong to resource creators, not like war-type soul masters who only enter but cannot leave. Cultivating food-type soul masters in the sect is a sure way to make a profit without losing. It can be foreseen that in the future, the cultivation of Ningyu by the Seven Treasures Glass sect will be even stronger than that of Miss Ning Rongro. Not bad, not bad. Half a year ago, Tang Hao, the son of Emperor Haotian, awakened his innate full soul power and twin martial souls. Now that my Seven Treasures and Glass sect also possess innate full soul power, it's not that they have fallen from the title of the previous three sections. Feeling his chin and laughing enough, Ning Fulong said with a relieved expression on his face. Although my own grandson has not awakened the bloodthirsty dragon mace martial soul, even with innate full soul power, he is destined not to become a renowned expert in the mainland in the future. But it seems good to become the first food brand in the history of the mainland to be named Doluo. If Ning Yu had just traveled to the Doluo continent and heard his grandfather say that Tang Hao, the son of Emperor Haotian, had awakened his innate full soul power and twin martial souls, then he would definitely be forced. After all, Tang San's twin martial souls were exposed in the Soul Master competition. How did they become so well known just after awakening? But now Ning Yu has become accustomed to it. The Dolua continent he traveled through seems to have significant differences from the original work. When Ning Yu was just born, he accidentally heard his own father and mother mention that when Tang Xiong, the elder of Haotian sect, broke through and became a title Dolua, he already realized something was wrong. According to the trajectory of the original work, wasn't Haotian sect forced into seclusion by the Martial Soul Hall at that time? And what kind of ghost is Tang Xiong, the elder of Haotian sect, who broke through and became the title Dolua Dolua? Shouldn't the elder of Haotian sect have been killed by the martial soul hall? Later on, when Ning Yu grew up a bit and asked his parents, combined with a series of events that occurred in the original work, the answer was finally obtained. Tang Hao's wife, the Blue Silver Emperor, is still sacrificing. My wife sacrificed herself to heaven, and her soul power was boundless. Even after becoming a title Dolua, Tang Hao still hang three title Dolua in the Martial Soul Hall, including Qin Xu and Ji. However, Qin Xu and Ji, who had been seriously injured and returned to the Martial Soul Hall, was still repaired by Bibi Dong, who had been enduring it all along. But unlike the original work, it was announced in the Martial Soul Hall that his own Pope Qin Xu and fell ill and died at the hands of the newly appointed Dolua Tang Hao of Haotian sect. Just as he was about to be wanted in mainland China, the long-lost invincible Tang Chen of Haotian sect returned to him. It is said that after the incident, Tang Chen, known as the Invincible on Land of Emperor Haotian, went alone to the Martial Soul City and challenged the seven major offerings of the Martial Soul Hall, including the Invincible in the Sky, Thousand Paths Flow. 
the Marshal Soul Hall remained silent and chose to settle the situation. At that time, Ning Yu couldn't figure it out. Didn't Tang Chen, during the Shura Divine Examination in the Capital of Slaughter, be eaten by the Rakshasa God and parasitized by the blood red nine headed back king? How did you get out of trouble? Later on, Ning Yu found out that before she was born, or when her mother had just conceived him and Tang San was about to be born, all the creatures on the mainland heard a soul piercing roar. And after the roar, a series of natural disasters that lasted for three days swept across the entire Dolua continent, causing serious economic losses and casualties to the two empires. Ning Yu can be certain that this is not mentioned in the original work. After all, in terms of time, Tang Chen was able to escape perhaps because of this roar that echoed through the souls of all living beings on the continent. It is precisely because Tang Chen has escaped from the capital of slaughter that the entire Dolua continent is very different from the Dolua continent in Ning Yu's impression. The Seven Treasures Glass sect has not changed, the Blue Electric Tyrannosaurus Rex family has not changed, and the Martial Soul Hall has not changed, but the Houtian sect has changed. Nowadays, the Houtian sect not only has Tang Chen, a peerless powerhouse, as its leader, Tang Xiao, Deputy Leader Tang Hao, Senior Elder Tang Xiong, and Second Elder Tang Bo, all of whom are also experts at the Dolua level. Five titled Dolua are stationed, one of whom is an invincible powerhouse on the mainland, and the Houtian sect is also worthy of the title of the first sect in the world. However, what is strange about Ning Yu is that since Tang Chen was able to overcome difficulties, it means he has already completed the eighth exam of the Shura. Why has it been several years and he has not yet inherited the position of the Shura deity? Ayu, you're so amazing. You have innate full soul power. Ning Rongrong looked at Ning Yu with a worshipful gaze. She originally thought that her innate level 9 soul power was the most beautiful cub in the Seven Treasures Glass sect, but to her surprise, there was even a more beautiful one. The pinnacle of the soul, proud of the world, with me, Ning Yu, there is heaven. From now on, I, Ning Yu, will be a legend. With his head held high, Ning Yu said arrogantly. As soon as these words were spoken, including Ning Rongrong, around ten little radish heads who had just awakened their martial souls and had not yet had time to leave, their eyes lit up with small stars. You truly deserve to be a cute master, just so confident. Pop. As an old father, Ning Feng Yuan listened to his precious son's bold words and immediately slapped Ning Yu on the back of the head without hesitation. Are you just a food-based soul master who wants to reach the top of the soul and be proud of the world? He, Tui. I'll let you know the dangers of the world now. The strong fatherly love weighed heavily, and Ning Yu was so painful that tears were about to come out. Pop. Another strong fatherly love sounded, and Ning Feng Yuan, like Ning Yu, received a slap on the back of the head. Humph, my good grandson, is it something you little brat can beat? Ning Fulong snorted coldly, obviously dissatisfied with his own son. My obedient grandson has great aspirations. As a father, if you don't encourage him, it's okay. It's unreasonable to even slap him. Later, the old man's face lit up with a smile and he stepped forward to rub Ning Yu's head, saying, Good grandson, are you okay? Glancing at her middle-aged father who could still enjoy a strange fatherly love, Ning Yu quietly gave her grandfather a thumbs up. Well done. Grandpa loves his grandson, that's true. In the afternoon, inside the courtyard. Xiao Yu, do you know how to meditate and cultivate now? Yang Xian asked Ning Yu, who had opened her eyes and exited her meditative state. Hmm. Ning Yu nodded. There is no mention of practicing martial arts in the current Dolua continent. Except for Tang San, the transmigrator, all soul masters practice meditation on a daily basis. Any soul warrior who awakens a martial soul and possesses innate soul power can perceive the soul power floating in the air. Meditation practice, like being born to breathe air, is an instinct that can be mastered without the need for deliberate learning. After the first meditation, some new changes appeared on Ning Yu's attribute panel. 
Property Panel, Host. Ning Yu, Soul Power. Level 10 Soul Warrior, Martial Soul. Peach, Plus, Practice. Meditation, Quality. White, Plus, Proficiency. Beginner, 1%, Secret Technique. 7 Treasure Fist Technique, Quality. Huang, Plus, Proficiency. De Cheng, 2%, The Self-Created Soul Skill Column on the Attribute Panel has been removed, but an additional skill and secret skill column has been added. Looking at the attribute panel, no, the meditation method appearing on the Krypton Gold panel, Ning Yu's mood is very beautiful. Since Ming Xiang can upgrade with money, Ning Yu will not lose at the starting line in the cultivation of martial arts in the future. Tang San has Xian Tian Gong, and I, Ning Yu, will also have red or even golden meditation techniques in the future. When there was only the seven treasures fist technique before, Ning Yu was not sure what the yellow quality behind the seven treasures fist technique meant. But with the white quality meditation method, and the idea of improving the white quality meditation only requires a thousand gold soul coins, Ning Yu immediately confirmed it. It is very obvious that the quality of this cultivation method and secret technique should correspond to the color of soul rings in different years, divided into six colors. White, yellow, purple, black, red, and gold. What Ning Yu can't figure out is why this dark idea has such a low level. You should know that the upper limit of meditation is very high, and the angel god and sea god of the past also practiced meditation to become gods. The cultivation method that can turn soul masters into gods is actually just a white quality. Is it difficult for this attribute panel to see not the maximum cultivation limit? but the specific effects. Perhaps only in this way can we explain why the dark thoughts are only of white quality. After all, in terms of effectiveness, this universal meditation method, besides not having to worry about making mistakes, really doesn't show any uniqueness. Take a good rest tonight. Your grandfather said he will take you to the sunset forest early tomorrow morning to obtain the first soul ring. Yang Xian admonished Ning Yu. If Ninyu awakens the martial soul of the blood dragon mace, there is actually no need to go to the soul beast forest to hunt and kill the soul beasts. After all, on the back mountain of the seven treasures glass sect, there are many soul beasts that have not been very old in captivity, providing lower level disciples with additional soul rings. There are also many soul beasts suitable for the blood dragon mace martial soul. I didn't expect Ninyu to awaken the peach martial soul. There are no corresponding soul beasts in the sect, so Ningyu needs to go to the soul beast forest to search. Mmm hmm. Ningyu nodded. The first soul ring in the district, it has been remarkable for just over 400 years. It is an honor for a beast to be able to assist his grandfather, an 89 level soul Dolua, in his debut. By the way, Xiaoyu, tell me what soul beast you want as your first soul ring. Mom will give you a reference. Yang Xian felt that it was necessary to take good care of her precious son. Any soul ring must be carefully selected like a blind date. After all, unless it is a twin martial soul, even if it is a title dolua, it can only attach nine soul rings. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Wastewood in the Soul Beast Realm You are listening at novelfull.audio the source has no content or has errors. Chapter 9 Sunset Forest You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 9 Sunset Forest As soon as he entered the forest, Ningyu discovered that compared to the Sunset Forest, the primitive forest he had visited during his previous life's tourism could only be considered a child. Towering trees that can only be embraced by a few people are everywhere in the Sunset Forest. What can be called a big tree on earth can basically be considered as saplings here. And after entering the sunset forest, Ningyu could sense that the energy of heaven and earth in the surrounding environment was more abundant than within the sect. It can be certain that among soul masters with the same cultivation talents, one stays in the sunset forest to cultivate and the other stays outside to cultivate, perhaps there is no significant difference in the short term. 
But over time, it is certain that the soul master who stays in the sunset forest to cultivate will have a higher level. Suddenly, the two people walking in the forest stopped their steps. I saw the bushes not far ahead shaking violently, and it was obvious that a soul beast was about to appear. However, Ning Yu is not worried. His grandfather is an 89 level soul Doluo, and he may need to be careful in the star forest, but in the sunset forest, he is definitely an invincible presence in the forest. Quickly, two sizable pig like soul beasts appeared in front of Ning Yu and his companions, humming and carrying a group of piglets. Xiao Yu, do you know these soul beasts? Looking at the sudden appearance of these soul beasts, Ning Fulong turned his head and asked Ning Yu. I know, this is the black back mountain pig. Although it looks as black as a coal ball on the surface, its meat is very delicious and very suitable for barbecue and hot pot. I heard that our sect has a breeding base for black back mountain pigs outside of Chendo City. Looking at these dark, second senior brothers, Ning Yu began to comment. Ning Fulong. Dot. Who asks if pork tastes good? The old man asked if you could recognize their race and year. I almost craved what I said. Suddenly seeing two humans blocking the way, two adult black-backed mountain pigs immediately protected the piglets behind them and looked cautiously at Ning Fulong. As for Ning Yu. Even a pig brain knows that human offspring of this size are not a threat. However, Ning Fulong did not intend to harm these black-backed mountain pigs. As long as he did not take the initiative to attack them, Ning Fulong was too lazy to take action. After all, although soul beasts are renewable resources, their growth cycle is very long. Usually, soul masters with high moral standards will not slaughter soul beasts indiscriminately and create more evil deeds. In the evening, Ning Fulong looked up at the sky and turned to Ning Yu, saying, Xiao Yu, it seems we're going to camp in the forest tonight. The spirit beast, although useless, has not been extinct to this day, and that is not without reason. Although this thing cannot compare to the blue-silver grass scattered all over the mountains and fields, it is also similar to rabbits. Not only does it grow and grow quickly. Even though the mortality rate of elemental spirit beasts in the soul beast forest is not low, they still thrive in various soul beast forests with a considerable number of races. After searching for a long time, both of them have encountered the Yuan spirit beast, but their years are too low. When encountering a Yuan spirit beast in its early 2000s, Ning Yu originally intended to use it as his first soul ring. Anyway, our own Krypton Gold panel should be able to increase the year of soul rings by Krypton Gold. In this way, for Ning Yu, there is not much difference between 1 or 200 years less and 1 or 200 years more. But Ning Fulong directly rejected it. After all, in the old man's view, his grandson Ning Yu is a soul beast with innate full soul power, just over 200 years old. Ning is also worthy of becoming my obedient grandson's soul ring. Moreover, if he were to give his grandson the first soul ring of 200 years, wouldn't he be mocked and tricked by others after returning? As the elder of the Seven Treasures Glass sect, Ning Fulong believed that he couldn't afford to lose this face. Hmm. Ning Yu nodded. Before coming, he was prepared to camp in the forest. After all, searching for suitable soul beasts in the soul beast forest also depends on luck. Lucky, Maybe we can find it on the same day. But if you have bad luck, it may take ten and a half days and a month to withdraw, so you can only retreat and choose other soul beasts. Adding a soul ring to a martial soul is also the time when a soul master with a background can widen the gap from a soul master without a background. A soul master with a background, such as Ningyu, the first soul ring of 200 years. If it's low, just pass it and continue searching until you find a suitable one. And without a background soul master, if you can have the first soul ring of a hundred years, then you should secretly enjoy it. The reality is that for most soul masters on the mainland, the first soul ring is only a white ten dot year soul ring, let alone the maximum soul ring they can bear. As night fell, a tent was set up on a clearing outside the sunset forest. It is inconvenient to go out, 
and the old man has not lit up his talent for picnics. The two of them had pre-prepared jerky for dinner. After filling the five organs temple, Ningyu began to meditate in the tent. Having good talent is one thing, but not putting in effort to cultivate is another. His krypton gold panel cannot add any points to his soul power level, so even if the hang is turned on, he cannot lie flat. As for the night watch, with the old man present, there is no need for Ningyu. Although the old man is getting old, there is still no problem staying up late occasionally. Moreover, with the strength of the old man, even if resting in the tent, any nearby disturbance could not be concealed from him. Gradually, it was late at night. Occasionally, a few nearby soul beasts outside the tent were also startled away by the trace of soul power emanating from Ning Fulong. There was nothing to do overnight, and the next morning, the two continued to set off in search of a suitable target. In fact, in Ning Yu's view, the year of the soul ring is not very important, as long as it is the soul ring of the elemental spirit beast. Not to mention 200 years, even a white 10 year soul ring is fine. Anyway, he has a kryptonite panel, and the gap of hundreds of years is simply insignificant. To put it simply, whether it's a 10 year soul ring or a soul ring from over 400 years old, compared to a hundred thousand or even a million year soul ring, they are actually not much different, they can only be considered small fragments. But Ning Fulong doesn't think so. He didn't know that his precious grandson would also have the ability to earn money. For the year of the soul ring, the closer it is to its limit, the better. Generally speaking, a level 10 soul warrior's ability to withstand the first soul ring is generally around 400 years. If one awakens a powerful beast soul, such as the blue electric Tyrannosaurus Rex, it is not impossible to withstand the year approaching 500 years. In Ning Fulong's view, Ning Yu's ability to withstand should be around 400 years old. After all, Ning Yu's physique is not particularly strong among his peers, and his martial soul is a peach in the food sector. His physical fitness is really inferior to those soul masters who have awakened their beast martial soul. Thank you for casting your first monthly ticket at dawn. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 Fierce Men Slaying Hundreds of Thousands You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Fierce Men Slaying Hundreds of Thousands Perhaps luck has turned around, and today's luck is very good. Not long after setting off, when passing by a small stream, the two of them noticed a group of small and medium dot sized soul beasts with a body size like rabbits, heads like mice, gray fur, and an ugly and cute appearance, drinking water. Of course, when it comes to animal herds, there aren't really many, and when combined, there are less than 20 elemental spirit beasts. A group of elemental spirit beasts. Looking at the group of Yuan spirit beasts drinking water in the distance, Ningyu felt a sense of joy in his heart. Because among these elemental spirit beasts, there is one that is much larger in size than the other elemental spirit beasts. Even the Yuan spirit beast that Ningyu met yesterday, which is 200 years old, is far smaller in size than this one. Grandpa, how old is that Yuan spirit beast? Ningyu pointed to the strongest Yuanling beast in the herd and asked Ning Fulong beside him. After all, Ningyu failed to recognize the year of this Yuan spirit beast due to his lack of proficiency in learning. My estimate it's been over 380 years. Touching his chin, Ning Fulong smiled at the corner of his mouth. For over 380 years, this is already very close to Ning Yu's tolerance limit. And unless it can cause a qualitative change in the soul ring and move to the next level, such as a 10 dot year soul ring and a centenary soul ring, a centenary soul ring and a millennium soul ring, there is no need to haggle over the years of 10 or 20. Xiao Yu, wait here, grandpa will come when he goes. Touching Ning Yu's head, Ning Fulom warned. Mmm hmm. Ning Yu nodded. Although Ning Yu has played Doloa Continent. Soul Master Duel, in his past life, it does not mean that he is a soul master who has experienced countless battles. Just like how well a Jedi survives, it doesn't mean they can take off on the Urmau battlefield. 
let him hunt the centennial soul beast with his small arms and legs. If he didn't get the soul ring, he would actually give a human head himself. As long as you lie down obediently and let your grandfather take you flying. Subsequently, Ning Fulong, like a detached arrow, rushed into the group of elemental spirit beasts drinking water with lightning speed. Pop! Without even using his martial soul, Ning Yu slapped him and saw his grandfather knock out the largest elemental spirit beast in the herd. The sudden change startled the group of elemental spirit beasts drinking water and almost choked them. After regaining their senses and realizing that their boss had been caught, the elemental spirit beasts all squeaked and called out. Just in the distance, Ning Yu thought they were going to bravely stand up and resist, but he saw that they had no intention of rescuing their boss and turned around and ran away, twisting their buttocks. Ning Yu. Dot. Just kidding, the boss is getting cold. Choose another one. But if my own little life is gone, then it really is gone. Which is lighter or heavier? The Yuan spirit beasts with harmonious and refined bodies are clear. Grandpa is great. As Ning Yu watched his grandfather catch the target with ease, he immediately delivered a rainbow fart. Haha, <laughs> that's it. Faced with the rainbow fart of his beloved grandson, Ning Fulong was obviously very pleased, almost revealing his teeth and flower seeds. Subsequently, he found an open space and threw the elemental spirit beast in his hand onto the ground. Ning Fulong jest for Ning Yu to come forward and repair his sword. Without hesitation, holding a sharp short sword, Ning Yu stabbed directly at the neck of the Yuan spirit beast. Pushi. The sound of a sharp blade piercing into the flesh was heard, and bright red blood immediately gushed out from the wound. Ji Ji, feeling the pain in his neck, the elemental spirit beast, which had been knocked unconscious, immediately struggled to wake up. Unfortunately, there was a big cut in the neck, and the fate of this elemental spirit beast was predetermined. No matter how hard it struggled, it was useless. Looking at the Yuan spirit beast struggling in the pool of blood in front of her, Ning Yu's face slightly didn't look good. To be honest, this is the first time in his life that he has seen such a bloody scene. Even in a past life, it was just watching others kill chickens. How could it be like in front of me, with blood flowing all over the place? Gripping the short sword with bloodstains in his hand, Ning Yu secretly warned himself that he used to be a ruthless man who slashed the entire canyon. The soldiers who died in his hands, even if they didn't have a million, at least hundreds of thousands, were just a soul beast, could they be considered a chicken? Quickly, the elemental spirit beast in the pool of blood stopped struggling, and a large amount of blood was lost, bringing its life to an end. Countless dots of light diffused out, and in no time, a bright yellow soul ring appeared on the body of the elemental spirit beast. Even if he hadn't started absorbing it, Ning Yu could clearly feel the enormous energy contained in the soul ring. Xiao Yu, let's start. Use your soul power to pull the soul ring onto yourself and then start meditating, absorbing the energy of the soul ring. After the soul ring appeared, Ning Fulong said to Ning Yu. Nodding slightly, Ning Yu lifted his right hand and the soul power in his palm was activated. Accompanied by a light blue halo, a huge peach appeared in his hand. Subsequently, under the traction of soul power, the century-old spirit beast soul ring in front of him slowly landed on his body. In just an instant, Ning Yu felt an unprecedented amount of pressure, and even her bones made a slight noise under this pressure. Immediately after, without giving Ning Yu any chance to react, the soul ring of the elemental spirit beast that fell on him suddenly shrunk to the size of a headband and landed directly on the peach martial soul in his right palm. At this moment, the massive energy contained in the soul ring of the Yuan spirit beast began to rush into Ning Yu's body using the martial soul as a bridge. Ning Yu immediately dared not neglect, concentrated his mind, fully activated his meditation, and refined the massive energy flowing into his body from his soul ring. Fortunately, the energy contained in the soul rings of the elemental spirit beasts is not very violent. In the same year, the difficulty of absorption is much lower than that of the soul rings of those ferocious soul beasts. Plus, 
it's just over 380 years old, and although Ningyu feels a lot of pressure, all of this is still within his tolerance. Time gradually passed, and in the afternoon, after half a day of refining, Ningyu finally completely refined this elemental spirit beast soul ring. After refining the soul ring, Ningyu did not immediately open his eyes, but silently felt the changes after advancing to the first ring soul master. After advancing, in addition to the significant improvement in both the quality and quantity of soul power in her body, Ningyu first felt that her physical fitness was much stronger than before. Even thinking seems to have become more active. The advanced absorption of soul rings by soul masters is not just about breaking through the bottleneck of soul power and obtaining a soul skill. After absorbing the soul ring, all aspects of the body's functions will also be greatly improved under the effect of the soul ring. And the higher the age of the soul ring, the greater the improvement. If it weren't for this, there wouldn't be so many talented soul masters on the mainland who want to absorb soul rings beyond the limits of ordinary people. End of this chapter